Well, uh, General Petraeus, as uh, Chief Counterterrorism Advisor, David Kilcullen, of course, it came up with this concept, uh, I believe, in Iraq, and it applies to Afghanistan, of the armed social worker. And uh, that seems to be, you know, it's, it's, it, I see the, the logic of it, but I don't know how you can do nation building in Afghanistan if you don't have a government. I mean, you, this guy just stole the election, and now they're going to have another one. I mean, it, 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 when we talk about 40,000 more boots on the ground, you could put 100,000 more boots on the ground, and it wouldn't make any difference if you don't have a government, right? It's true that if you're going to uh, go into a counterinsurgency effort, uh, your partner is the local government, and that it is obviously uh, not a purely military problem. We have a fixation with military numbers, and uh, that that figure that the, that ultimately the Pentagon will have to uh, to live with is a uh, is a component of the uh, of the McChrystal planning effort, and uh, it's it's a lot more uh, sophisticated, as you've laid out, than just raw numbers of military on the ground. So what is going on uh, there in terms of uh, the leak and, and, the, and the political battles that are going on behind the scenes? I mean, the investigative reporter Seymour Hirsch suggests that, that there are some people in the military who are testing Obama. Uh, and by boxing him in, leaking that f request for 40,000, and you know he, he puts him in a situation he's damned if he. There's no way he can he, he can uh, buck his military advisors. On the other hand, the more uh, troops he sends in, the more he alienates his base. So he's a, he's damned if he does, and damned if he doesn't. Well, I don't know who leaked that report. If the military did it, that is seditious behavior. Uh, I would really, I would really like to uh, to have it uh, publicized. Who did? Uh, it uh, it served General McChrystal badly. It served the armed forces badly. It served the United States Army badly because it it puts an immediate pressure upon General Casey, who is responsible for manning, training, equipping, and deploying the force to the combatant commanders. And it puts our president at a substantial disadvantage. I'm I am a, a political agnostic. I I don't belong to any party, but I desperately want President Obama in this administration to uh, succeed and to to do far more than succeed. I want them to thrive uh, because so goes the Obama administration for this four-year period. Goes the United States of America, and those who occupy the position, if it's good for Obama, then they're against it, even if it's good for America, is a deplorable approach to uh, governing this country. Well, just in closing, uh, General Eaton, it's, it's, I mean, the, the record is pretty clear that uh, al-Qaeda was all but defeated and almost eliminated uh, back in uh, late 2001, early 2002, and... Uh, We've been in there, this is the beginning of our ninth year now in Afghanistan, and it does feel like nobody's been minding the store. Now, to some extent, he, uh, President Obama did make it a campaign promise to say, I can do it better, and, and Bush dropped the ball. But I wonder, uh, you talked about a, a need for a kind of a national debate, uh, you know, a kind of after-action report on Iraq. Um, what about answering some of these basic questions about Afghanistan. I mean, for example, what's the sense of fighting millions of people in one country to eliminate a few hundred in another? I mean, do you share any of my disquiet about the big questions not being answered? Well, I I keep going when I when I try to reconcile my thoughts on Afghanistan, it keeps going to 60 nuclear weapons in Pakistan. And, uh, you know, I'm old enough to remember the domino effect uh, in Vietnam. And, uh, but I, I really do believe that there is a direct link uh, between the security in Afghanistan, the denial of a uh, total Taliban victory, and uh, the, uh, the health and future of Pakistan. So it's a complex problem. India, Iran, all the stands, all of all of the countries in the area are uh, are 
influential in this outcome, and it's a terribly complex problem. And uh, I am glad to see the President of the United States with uh, some very bright uh, men and women laboring hard to try to figure uh, a, a very complex problem solution. Well, I thank you so much for joining us here today in Los Angeles, at General Eaton. Absolutely my pleasure, Ian. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. And hello again, I'm Ian Masters. It's been just speaking then with Major General Paul Eaton, retired U.S. Army General. He was in command of training Iraqi forces and served in Iraq between 2003 and 2004. He's currently a senior advisor to the National Security Network. And in response to Dick Cheney's criticism of uh, President Obama, suggesting that he's dithering in Afghanistan, General Eaton responded by referring to the... Uh, Dick Cheney and Bush, Bush administration as the incompetent war fighters.